you want another rock? Since retired Count Dr. Kiza Vestige started visiting dilapidated government hospitals across the country, government has responded by deploying police officers at every district health center whenever retired Count Dr. Kiza Vestige is due for a campaign lale to avoid the shaming the NLM government. Vestige goes to Abim, doesn't visit a health center for, uh, no, health center things which are there, which are doing the immunization. He goes to the only only job that is not yet done and this is what he highlights we say you are a liar you are dishonest with a population of about 260,000 people and still growing Namangingo district survives on a health center for Winja health center is the only referral hospital with high incidence of malaria and typhoid across the district the hospital survives on one doctor assisted by a few qualified nurses amidst limited medical equipment. Tony Wambaire is the health inspector of Namaingo district. And even the equipment in the health center are still very few. We may have more than one or two patients, and yet the equipment, like the beds and so on, are not enough. The highest medical unit in the district has no ambulance. The structures are in a sorry state. No running water. It is unhygienic. It is congested. And local administration appears to be stranded. They can't do much. But to survive within the situation they are in. We have little to do since our resource envelope is quite limited to enable us to procure an additional van to support the number of patients we are recording day by day. Patients are reported to be ferried on motorcycles in case of an emergency. The government pickup that was sent here to serve as an ambulance is down. The area member of parliament also donated an ambulance that never lasted as a result of being overstrained. The demand for transport means for patients is high, but there is no way out. What pushed me to do that, the rate of death was high. So we were burying like a 10, 8, 5 people daily. When I bought that ambulance, the rate lowered to 2 or even 0. And uh, that one, uh, the one I bought was overwhelmed with the work, too much work. It was working 24 hours. And I've seen as an individual, it is a bit uh, tricky to handle such a load. Built in 1960 as a dispensary, it was elevated into Health Center 4, though medical practitioners term it as a Health Center 3 according to what it has in terms of medical facilities and personnel that only includes 20 beds. Buiga Health Center 4 is now a referral hospital that serves over 260,000 residents of Namaingo. And at night, 10 p.m., we decide to go back and find out how patients are attended to. We seek company from district leaders led by the resident district commissioner, Samuel Mpimbaza Hashaka. <laughs> Inside this referral hospital, women are sharing words with men. There is only one medical personnel on duty, a nursing assistant, a post that was scrapped off from the medical profession in Uganda. He has no medical training, but is treating patients. He is administering drugs. He is the doctor in charge. No nurse is present. He does not have enough light. He is operating in darkness. His mobile phone is his source of light in measuring medicine and injecting. He is in charge of three wards, children ward, mixed adult ward, and maternity. Okay, me, I'm a nursing assistant, voluntary. I'm How are you volunteering? Me. So, it, so because now it is a solo, the animal gave us PhD one. How much are you paying? You can tell them. Okay, the, the amount. Eh? I don't know the amount, but the animal gave us some, some little money. How much? Like uh, 50,000. For how long? 
for a month. Yes, he operates on experience he gained after seeing nurses and doctors working some years back. But because he is the only one on duty to offer that much needed health service, no action can be taken against him. After all, he is saving lives. In fact, the RDC and his mayor had to thank him. Nurses don't reside in the district. They leave duty as early as 5 p.m., leaving their job to this unqualified nursing assistant that earns a paltry 50,000 Uganda shillings as his monthly salary. That title of uh, nursing assistant was phased out. It's no longer there. A nursing assistant used to be those ones who help. He's supposed to be helping like a nurse or a doctor uh, to, 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 to bring drugs and so on. But now we are seeing a volunteer is the one in charge of the situation. He's working like a doctor. He's uh, giving the prescription. When I came this evening, I found he was even in the theater uh, operating somebody. They call it suturing, you know. He was even, you know, uh, stitching somebody, which is very, very dangerous. As the unqualified nursing assistants attend to a border border accident victim, a woman is in labor. As a child in critical condition, requires an anti-malaria medication. How he is going to attend to them all is not clear. But it's also impossible. Kenneth Buire, WBS, Namayingo District. While addressing his supporters in a ring at K sub county headquarters, Vesija said that the state had failed to demonstrate commitment to protect citizens in the area by failing to contain the hepatitis B outbreak that has left many people dead. Hepatitis B, an immunizable disease, is prevalent in the area and has left many lives lost. Here in Aringa, people have been finished by hepatitis B. There is this hepatitis B is an immunizable disease. It could be immunized, but people are dying left and right, left and right. Here, here, here. <laughs> These are killed by M7. They are not killed. Messenger attributes the persistence of the problem to the widespread graft in the social service sector, where state officials send money meant to implement projects like immunization. Many women are dying, and when they die, you find just people gather and say, Inna lila, I care, care, Mongolia, Maria Saida commit to peacefully and actively participate in the forthcoming elections. I promise to focus on issues, only issues, and to stay away from financial incentives like sugar, sabuni. I honor my vote uh, for God and my country. Topo.